oil pump. Now I mentioned the oil pump on the um, engine that came on there. This was a Febby pump. So I just pulled it apart. It's pretty simple. It's two 10mm bolts. Those are the keys to get the pickup off. Pickup's got a bit of dirt in there, but I mean, that can be cleaned, to be honest. Um, that's not the issue. Now, if you remember last week, I said I could feel the play in that shaft already. Now, there's nothing much to look at on this. That's just your mating surface. Nothing really is dirty. It could get cleaned up. This is the business end of your two gears that mesh together. And as that shaft turns by the auxiliary shaft, it rotates. Quite hard to do with one hand. There you go. Yeah, so it rotates, pumping oil up. Now, the reason I won't be using this again is it comes apart easy. That just moves up. And then the other one comes off there. Now, that gear was on here. That went through that hole. Now, this is what poor machining is. Not much, but the machining of that hole causes... This will zoom in, you'll see. There you go. Right, so look in here. If it will zoom in the right point and catch the light. Come on. See all those lines? I pause, you can just see them there. That is the pump gear touching the housing. You can see it there. So all those horizontal lines. And that bit there, that is that touching the housing, which it shouldn't do, because then it's making contact. Obviously, a bit's going to wear off. You can see some bits of crud up in there as well. Don't know what they're from. Um, yeah, so that's not going to work, because as soon as that starts wearing down, it's going to cause drag, but also it's going to damage the end of these teeth. You can see the matching lines there. Quite hard to see until it catches the light. A few of them there. Um, yeah, so all that's going to do. There you go, perfect example on that shaft there. Of those lines of where it's been making contact with the body inside there. Um, so it's either this shaft isn't machined right. Or the hole in there isn't. Either way, they're not matching. They're not perfect. Um, so it's not going back on. That's why I'll stick to an OEM pump. So there you go, that's why I don't like aftermarket pumps. They'll do the job, but doing the job doesn't mean it's the right <clears throat> part. Sometimes OEM is the best. Hasn't really been catching too much on that one. Mainly because it's a bit on the back here. Mainly because there's no leverage on that on that um lug. There's leverage on that because it sits out the pump yay far. So you've got all that leverage, it will move around because it only it goes on the auxiliary shaft in there. So you've got um, that cap and you've got a gear that sits in there and you've got the shaft going down. So you've got a lot of movement that, sh that can move because that's not really aligned in there, it's just sat on there um, and meshed with the auxiliary shaft. So all that sort of movement in there will cause that to jiggle around. Exaggerated, it will do that inside the pump, which, as you can see from the scoring lines in there. So, back to some comparisons. We know this is our Febby pump off, um, what engine was it off? The 1803. Now, as you can see, this is an original VW pump off another KR block I've got. Now, as you can see, this has done some miles. I don't know as the miles, but you can see from the amount of oil staining. On the aluminium it's done a lot more work than that has it's all going to do we've taken it apart pretty simple there's no really wear marks on there um look for the ample you're not going to really have too much contact on here because you're not going to have a film of oil as it's bearing surface so that not too worried about yeah, there's a bit of a weight difference as well probably a couple of grams in it we don't worry about the strainer it's all going to do is take this out have a look at what wear marks we've got then we're going to measure the shaft and measure the inside diameter where the shaft runs through.
Now we can see there are tiny scrape marks in there, but it's also super shiny clean. And the main problem we had, whether you'll be able to see. So this was making contact up here. See that darker grey patch? That's just making contact and the same again on that point there. Now you look at this one. Zoom in. And if we look at this one, there is nothing there, it's all shine, which is good. Then there's nothing that side, there are minor marks around there, but nothing's actually making contact. So all we can do is measure the inside of that and the outside of the shaft. Right, so we've done our measurements and we have got, now I've measured them not pump to pump as in the shaft size to the shaft size. So there's a clear, these are a clearance fit so there should be a set gap between it so once there's oil in there that's your seal and that's what um, allows its bearing surface. So we've measured them between. Now what we've got on this pump We've got a shaft diameter of 13.95 millimetres and we've got an inside diameter of 14.07 millimetres. So we've got a difference of 0 0.11 millimetres, which isn't a lot, but versus the OEM pump, which we've got a shaft diameter of 3.99 millimetres and we've got an inside diameter of this body of 14.03 which is a difference of 0 0.4 millimeters so that's the machine tolerance you've got now 0 0.4 i'm not going to try and measure but 0 0.4 millimeters between that and the shaft that's perfectly adequate to me considering when it gets warm it's all in it the heat's going to expand the metal and it's going to seal itself and do its job and it's not going to expand to a point that's going to um, lock up and cause wear etc what we're interested in is the excess play in these two. Now I've set this to 0 0.11 mil. Now you can't really see much through it. I don't know if you'll catch any light through it. Probably not, but it looks like it's closed. Order a bit of A4 paper. So we can see, not a massive amount, but that's the sort of size you're looking at see through it no so here we go so that's our difference in the pumps so that is why this gear is coming into contact with these two outer edges on the pump point and you can also feel it and hear it so when i've got that sat in there i can also lift it up just so it's proud of it. I'll put it close and see if you can hear it on the video. Nice and quiet. You can hear it catching. This is the original pump. Can't hear anything. Nothing. So there we go, that just shows the difference of a pump which is remanufactured and an original pump. There you go. A bit of interesting information for you, the difference between the original pumps and the remanufactured pumps. So my advice, keep your original pump. If you take it to a garage and they say it's your oil pump failed, chances are they're lying. Um, get someone to nose VWs, that's not going to fail.
if it fails, it's going to lock up and damage. But to wear out to the point it's not pumping oil to the right pressure, very, very slim.